Hey ya, uh, YouTube. Welcome to Highway Box, a series where I build a highway in a box. And what do we have here? A catchment of some description? I'm a whore for drains, what can I say? 18 lanes because YOLO. Building the box. Tiny pedestrian path marks a 100 by 100 square, surrounded by keys on both sides, which proclives one of three box formations I can imagine. Plus this bonus fourth box to keep in mind. Building the roads. Starting with level terrain, I project a single lane through the middle, bending to promote a varied landscape. You may have noticed the highway is composed entirely of single lanes, which is something I may be inclined to explain at a later date. The median is a strategic one ramp wide, should I get the urge to include on slash off ramps inside, and the preliminary lane is shadowed by intersecting perpendicular guides. Lowered to where I figure might be the suitable depth for a valley limited by the small area area, one direction is lower again to preserve what would have been the shape of said valley if ever one existed prior, plus this engenders opportune utilisation of the aforementioned ramp sized median. Not to mention I will be adding a gold star to the unique infrastructural element board, any prompt for which is seldom liable to be avoided here on road time. A bordering river determines the valley nadir, and a tunnel seems the most natural and or only way to seal the ends of the road, which I fashion in the same way as my last, as inspired by friend Ted, by latticing rail bridge truss arches. A diminishing arch in the wall for river drainage, and slight complication with the network lattice tunnel due to boring into an uneven slope of terrain which networks would flatten, solved by keyscaping the entry, before duplicating to the other side. Building Z Drain. A battery of water treatment slurry errs declines to the riverbed via curved canal enclosed by keys, so water is retained, with a couple circular inland treatment pools to the side and an ore shed, just because it's the right size and style. An alley just squeezes through the gap with a Japanese retaining wall, trying out big parking lots here, which require a significant landscaping effort a la slope profiles, which might I say went more smoothly than previous. A slope profile segment between slurry errs and key gives the impression of being submerged in the landscape, widening coverage at other tricky sections including dubiously serrated tunnel key edge. I do muchly appreciate the Lego-esque character these produce. Introduction of water flowing through elevated gravel road pillars reveals annoying leakage at canal's end. Hidden by surface networks which need to terminate slightly higher than the canal to do so, keys make up the resulting gap. Juicy Highway. Clipping of single lanes leaving much to be desired. Just you leave it to old road time. Not sure about foliage. I tried a few different configurations and think lighter is better if only to preserve the Lego tier slopes. I do love me a good drain. Looking forward to more infrastructure and whatnot in my box. That's all. Thanks for watching and goodbye forever. Any prompt for which is seldom liable to be avoided here on real boy hours, I mean road time.